Hi guys, this is your Diga again. In this video, we're going to see how to read, display and save image using OpenCV Python. OpenCV reads an image file and converts into a NumPy array. NumPy array is nothing but a set of matrix numbers which we could have studied in our school grades. The NumPy array represents the image as a matrix of pixel values. For example, grayscale image has only one color channel. You can see an example of a grayscale image over here. On the left hand side, you can see a black and white image. Basically, a black and white image is nothing but a grayscale image. On the right hand side, you can see the pixel value of the corresponding image over here. On the other hand, we do have a colored image. The colored image is nothing but a RGB image and has a three colored channels. One is for red, another is for green, another is for blue. The value in the NumPy array corresponds to the intensity or color values of each pixels in the image. For the colored image, we could see there is a three dimensional matrix, one for red and one for blue and one for green. Let's see the practical demonstration of the same. For that, I need to import the CV2 package. I'm going to do import uh, CV2, which imports the CV2 package. In order to read an image, we do have a command like CV2.imread. Let me write the same img equal to CV2. I am read and I'm going to mention the name of the file. The name of the file is like download.jpg in my case. So I'm going to read the file and assign it to the variable img. So once I read the file, I need to display the same for that. I need to write a command like cb2.im show and I need to show an image with some name. So I'm going to give some demo name over here, something, anything as per your wish. So I'm going to give demo and the name of the variable which we read in the previous line. So basically this is going to show the image. So this is going to show the image in an infinite number of times. We need to stop it at one point, right? So that what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to get the keyboard response. Suppose if I press S key, I need to destroy the window. How can I do it? It's like, I need to get which key I'm going to press using a CV2 command, which is uh, key equal to CV2 dot wait key. Basically this wait for the key, which I press in my keyboard and it gets the key. And if the key matches, something i'm going to destroy the window i'm going to write a logic like if p equal to equal to ord office which means if i press an sc over here what i'm going to do is like cv2 dot destroy all windows yeah so basically i'm going to show the image and i'm going to destroy all the windows so let me run the code yeah, basically this has read the file and it displays the image also you can see right it's a colored image so it is showing the pixel dimension of RGB over here and also X and Y axis over here. If I click on S, what it's going to do is like it's going to destroy the window. Let me click on S. So the image has gone and it has stopped displaying it actually. So let us try to read the image in a grayscale. Suppose if you want to read an image in a black and white or which is a grayscale image, what you can do is like we need to give comma cb2 dot I am read which is in caps case and you need to use something like grayscale over here. So what it's going to do is like it is going to read the same image in a black and white format and also you can see that right, only one pixel dimension it is getting displayed over here. Now if I click on this it's going to destroy the window. If, suppose if you want to save an image what you can do is like you can write do something like cv2 dot I am right. So basically I am show is the I am read is the one which reads the file and I am right is the one which writes the file actually i am right and i'm going to mention the name of the file uh something like uh, test.png is the name of the file and i'm gonna pass the variable which i read over here so img is the one so i'm gonna pass it and i'm gonna run the code so what it's gonna do is like it is going to show the image when i click on us it's going to write an image in my local machine basically it is going to show the image when i click on us it is going to write an image in my local machine so now let us try to print the image and let's see how it is getting printed over here so let me do print img over here when i run this piece of code you can see right the pixel dimension of the image is getting displayed over here this is for the grayscale image and this is of the one dimensional array let us try to get the shape of it actually so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do print img dot shape and I'm going to print the img over here. So yeah, dot shape and img. So you can see, right, 
So it is a 275 cross 183 matrix and the number is displayed over here. Now let me try to do the same for a colored image. Suppose if you want to read an image as a colored image, what you need to do is like you need to pass something like cv2.imread underscore you need to pass the command like color over here. So basically this reads an image as a colored image. When I try to run this piece of code, you can see over here it is 275 cross 183 which is same as a grayscale image but this is of a three dimensional matrix what is the three dimensional matrix one is for red another is for green another is for blue i will paste the below code in the description that's it for the today's video thanks for watching and happy learning